Hello, I am Cybex author and Stormwind instructor, William Panic. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up a fine grain password policy. Now in the past, let's filter back to years ago, Windows Server 2003, you were only allowed to have one password policy per domain. And no matter who belonged to the domain, executives, sales, IT, everybody had to follow the same password policy. Well, when Windows Server 2008 was released, Microsoft introduced fine grain password policies. So what we're gonna do is on a Windows Server 2012 R2 system, I'm gonna show you how to build a fine grain password policy. Now this is a two step process. Step number one is you have to actually build the policy in the Active Directory Schema tool. And then step two, you have to apply the policy in Active Directory users and computers. So let's go ahead and dive in and let's build our policy. So here, you can see I'm running Windows Server 2012 R2. I'm gonna actually open up the ADSI editor. Now when I open the ADSI editor, you'll see that I'm already connected to my domain. If I wasn't, I could actually just right click on the ADSI, say connect to, and then choose my domain. Now, since I'm already connected to my domain, I'm gonna go ahead and expand out my domain. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the actual container for system. Now, under that container, I have a password settings container. We're gonna right click and I'm gonna say new object. And here's where I'm gonna set up a new password policy in this container. So I'm gonna put it inside the password container and I'm gonna name this the IT policy because this is gonna be the password policy for my IT users. Then it's gonna ask me to set up a password settings precedence. Now, what this is, is this is a cost value that you assign to the password policy. Now, if I am a user and I happen to belong to multiple groups, and there are multiple fine-grained policies affecting each group, the policy that's gonna to apply to me is gonna be the one with the lowest cost value. Now, normally, our cost value start with 10, then we go 20, 30, 40. You don't have to do that, but that's the industry standard. So I'm gonna set this value to be 10. Now it's gonna ask me, do I wanna use reversible encryption for these user accounts? So I don't wanna use reversible encryption at this time. I'm gonna show another video on how to change that. So for now, we're just gonna set that to false. If you wanna use password reverse encryption, just set that to true. Then it's gonna ask me, do I wanna have a password history length? Now, this is gonna be the number of passwords it's gonna remember before I can use the same password again. So I'm gonna set this to 12 passwords in my history. So I'm not gonna be able to reuse a password until the 13th time. Then I can restart using passwords. So if you're allowing your users to just change their password once a month and you have a 12 on the history, they're not gonna be able to use one of their previous passwords for at least one year. Then I'm gonna go ahead and just say next. Then it's gonna ask me, do I wanna set up password complexity? Now this is using uppercase, lowercase, uh, numbers, and I want this to be true. I just don't want straight out basic passwords. I wanna make sure they use capital letters, lowercase, numbers. Then it's gonna ask me, what is my password length gonna be? Now this is the number of characters within my password. So I'm gonna set it up so that passwords have to be a minimum of eight characters so that all, you know, don't set this number too high. I've seen people go crazy with this, but it's awfully hard for people to come up with things that they can remember when the passwords are 16, 20 characters long. I would say keep it around eight, 10, 12, somewhere in that range. But for the IT department, which I'm setting this password policy up for, I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it as eight. 
Now it's going to ask me, what is my minimum password age? Now, there are people out there that like to change their passwords every couple hours. The problem with this is if you're changing your passwords too frequently, people forget what password they're currently using, especially when you set up a password history. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this up so that they can't change their password for at least 24 hours. Now when setting up a password length, a time, inside the ADSI editor, you have to do this to the 18 format. All right. So if you need to, you can actually go out onto Microsoft's website and or go out online and read a little bit about the 18 format. But let me show you. For a minimum password age, I'm going to set this to one day. So I got to use a negative, and I'm going to use 864 with nine zeros. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That allows me to set it to one day. If I wanted to set it to 10 days, I would actually just add a tenth zero. So I'm going to go ahead and say next. Then it's going to ask me, what's the maximum length I'm going to allow these users to keep a password? Now, I'm going to set mine up to be 60 days. So 60 days actually boils out to be 5184 with 10 zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And I'm going to go ahead and just click Next. Now it's going to ask me for my lockout threshold. What the lockout threshold does is this is how many times your user is going to be able to put in a bad password before the account gets locked out. So I'm going to set my account lockout threshold to three bad attempts. After the third bad attempt, it's going to lock out their account. Now the next screen is going to ask me for the observation window screen. Now this is going to remember how long they put in bad password attempts. So for example, I'm going to set this to five minutes. All right, so that's all I'm going to do is set it to five minutes. So it's going to be three followed by nine zeros. I'm sorry, I need a negative. Three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now what this is doing is this is saying that within five minutes, if they put in more than three bad password attempts, it locks the account. So let's say a user sits down on a Monday morning, puts in two bad password attempts. They get in on the third attempt. Two minutes later, they log off and they go to log back on. If they put in a third bad password attempt, they will still be locked out because the actual counter for the password attempts is set to five minutes. Now that's different than the lockout duration. The lockout duration is after they put in the three bad attempts, how long am I gonna keep the account locked out for? So that's the next screen. Here, how long is my lockout duration gonna be? I'm gonna set this to 30 minutes, which is one, eight, followed by nine zeros. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then I'm going to say next. Now at this point, I can go in and put in any additional attributes I want to put in on this password policy. Or at this point, I can just say I'm done. So finished. And now you'll notice that we have a new IT policy created under our password container. Now, how do we implement that password policy? Well, what we're going to do at this point is we're going to close out our Active Directory schema tool and we're going to go into Active Directory users and computers. Now, inside our Active Directory users and computers, I'm going to go ahead and set up under my New Hampshire, I'm going to set up a new group. and I'm going to call it the IT group. It's going to be a global security group. And now at that point, I have an IT security group. Now, to actually get this policy onto that group, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually go under my view, and I'm going to go into my advanced features. 
Now when I get into my advanced features, I'm going to go down to where it says system and I'm going to expand it. And then I'm going to scroll all the way down to where I have my password settings. And here you see I have my IT password. So you'll see it at that point. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually, I'm going to go to my password container and I'm going to right click on this and I'm going to go ahead and just check the properties. And at this point, I can see who it's going to apply to. I can actually go into my editor and I can actually go through and actually see what's actually set and what's not set. So here's my minimum password length is eight. Okay, my history is set to 12 days. My minimum password is set to 10 days. Okay, so you can actually go through and actually take a look at see how everything is actually set on that policy. So this is a great way to actually look at the attributes. Now, if you want to, what you do is go into our policy, go to our attributes, and what we're going to do is you're going to scroll down and you're going to find the actual policy that the, you're going to scroll down and actually find where this policy actually gets put to. So it's actually MSDS. So we're going to look for MSDS. Okay. So here's our MSDSs. And then we're going to apply this to the actual PSO applies. So we're going to look for PSO applies to. So now here's where we're going to set who this actually applies to. So we're going to click edit. Then at this point, we're going to go in and we're going to actually add our group. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to actually choose the actual Windows account. We're going to choose IT, check name. There's the IT group. We're going to say okay. And now this password policy applies to the actual IT group. I'm going to say OK. I'm going to say OK. I'm going to go back under my view. I'm going to actually go to the advanced features and uncheck it. And now my IT group is actually going to have a different password policy than the actual rest of the organization out in my domain. In this video, I showed you how to actually create a password policy inside the actual Active Directory Schema tool. And then I showed you how to apply that policy to a group within Active Directory users and computers. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you out. If you did, please like the video. Please make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is YouTube slash C slash William Panic, one word. And I hope that uh, if there's any videos that you want to see, please make sure you just let me know and I'll go ahead and get them posted for you. I am Cybex author and Stormwind instructor, William Panic. Thanks for watching my video and I hope to see you real soon in one of my classrooms.